This video is going to break down exactly how to ruin your cybersecurity career before you even get it started. And we're diving into the shocking story of a man from Kansas City, Missouri, a place I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with. But first, if you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity engineer at Amazon. I've been in the industry for about five years now and on this channel, we talk about everything cybersecurity, career advice, technical breakdowns, and industry stories like this. If that sounds good to you, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also join our Discord community with nearly 5,000 cybersecurity professionals in order to network and grow with them. Subscribe to the Cyberworks Unplugged newsletter for career tips and industry updates. And don't forget to check out the Cyberworks merch store for some fire winter gear, including this purple team hoodie I'm wearing right now. It's pretty fire. That being said, let's dive into today's story. All right, let's talk about Nicholas Michael Kloster. This is a perfect example of how not to break into cybersecurity. Pun intended. Cluster, age 31, from Kansas City, Missouri, has been indicted for allegedly hacking into computer networks. But here's the twist. He wasn't doing this for fun or personal gain. He was trying to use his hacking skills as a sales pitch to get hired as a cybersecurity consultant. Yeah, you heard that right. So here's the first incident, the gym hack. This took place in April 26, 2024, which is pretty recent given that we're in November. According to the Department of Justice, Cluster broke into the systems of a health club business that operates multiple gyms in the state. Once he was inside, he sent an email to the gym's owner claiming that he had hacked their systems. But instead of just bragging, he used this as an opportunity to pitch his services, saying something like, hey, look how vulnerable you are, hire me and I'll fix it. Those were in his exact words, but basically something like that. In the email, he detailed how he bypassed the gym security camera login using visible IP addresses and accessed their router settings. Even bragged about being able to access files on user computers, essentially dangling the threat of a deeper breach. But what's crazy is that it gets worse from there. He didn't just hack the gym systems. He also reduced his monthly gym membership to just $1, deleted his photograph from the gym's database, stole a staff member's name tag, and as if that wasn't enough, Cluster later posted screenshots on social media showing that he had controlled the gym's security cameras. Talk about leaving a trail of evidence. And just this hype of social media, like people wanting to just show what they're doing in ways that are just really dumb. But Cluster wasn't done. Just a few weeks later, on May 20th, he physically broke into a non-profit organization and when he was inside, he accessed a restricted area and used a boot disk to bypass their authentication system. From there, he installed a VPN on one of the non-profit's computers and changed account passwords, allowing himself to maintain persistence and giving him long-term access. What was the damage? An estimated $5,000 in remediation costs. That's the money the nonprofit could have used for its mission, but instead had to spend it on securing its systems. And then we have the third incident hacking thumb drives, and this one takes the cake. So, with this incident, Cluster allegedly used stolen credit card information from his former employer to purchase hacking thumb drives. These devices are specifically designed to exploit vulnerable systems. That's just crazy to me. So now if you're wondering what all of this means for Cluster, let me help you break that down. If proven guilty, it could face up to 15 years in prison, five years for unauthorized access and 10 years for reckless damage. He may also have to pay hefty fines and restitution to his victims for financial losses. So with all of that said, here's the bottom line. Cybersecurity is about protecting systems, not exploiting them for your own personal gain, or in this case, self-promotion. Actions like this not only harm victims, but also undermine the trust and professionalism of the entire cybersecurity industry. If you're trying to break into the field, focus on ethical practices. That's why the skill is called ethical hacking. Build your skills through certifications and real-world experiences and CTFs. Contribute to open source projects and communities. Join communities like ours at Cyborgs Academy where you can learn more from others and grow your career in the right way. And if you want to hack stuff, do bug bounty programs. They're there for that reason. They have scope for that. That being said, what do you think about this story? Could you believe someone would literally go to these lengths and think it's a good career move? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Discord community again for more cybersecurity discussions, and subscribe to the Cyberworks Unplugged newsletter for career tips and industry updates. And of course, check out our merch store for some winter gear like this purple team hoodie I'm wearing right now. And then finally, check out this video right here that YouTube has recommended to you. Let me know if you did a good job of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.